My daily ride was a Corvette. Ever since I was a little boy, I've always wanted a Corvette. Not just any Corvette, a 1972 Corvette Stingray. I've always loved the body style, the rumble of the engine, and the sleek look the Corvette has. Why the 72, you ask? This was the last year of the removable rear window in the coupes and the last with the chrome bumpers front and rear. In 1972, General Motors only made 27,004 Corvettes. Of those, only 1,543 were made in sunflower yellow. The only tires I'll put on my Corvette are Cooper Cobra radial GTs. Now maize and blue wasn't my first color choice, but I felt it fit living in Michigan. In its day, the base Corvette Sport Coupe retailed for $5,533. Now there's nothing better than sitting in the leather seats, wrapping your fingers around the wooden steering wheel, and turning that ignition on, and hearing the rumble of a 350 cubic inch, 200 horsepower engine. Knowing that you're sitting in pure Detroit muscle. Knowing that you own a part of Detroit history. A part of automotive history. A part of your own personal legacy. Then that rumble. The rumble of the 200 horsepower engine drives you to mash the gas pedal to the floor. And the boyhood dream finally becomes reality when you hear that high-pitched squeal of the Cooper Cobras on the highway, the highway of life. The T-tops off, the rear window out, and the wind blowing in your hair. And that hum, the hum of the wheels on the highway. On that long, lonely stretch of road. My name's Jim Vetter, and this is my everyday road trip.